What is up guys, my name is Steven Womack and we're back with another Edison Ray tutorial. You requested this picture a lot on my Instagram DMs, so thank you for requesting it. Today I will show you how to recreate this look for your mobile photography. And of course, as always, I've also created a preset on exactly this look. It's on my website, the link is under this video, and it's in the all presets pack with over 200 presets that you can easily paste to every one of your pictures in the free Lightroom app. And the cool thing about this all presets pack is that every time I create new presets, they're automatically updated to the pack. So you just have to buy it once and you'll get a growing presets pack, which is a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future videos. And if there's anything you need from me, always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm also really open to new suggestions for new videos, new looks that I can take a look at for you. So feel free to contact me there. I've said enough. Let's jump right into the free Lightroom app on our smartphone and I will show you how to recreate this Edison Ray look right now. Now I've chosen this picture right here of Edison Ray because clearly it's taken on a smartphone and the setting is kind of similar. So the first thing we want to do in the lights tab is go to curve on the upper right side and I want you to recreate this crazy curve as it is right here. So on the bottom left, we're going to pull up the shadows next to it, pull them right back down. And on the upper right side, we're going to pull down the highlights a lot to really get this really S shaped extreme curve. Once you have this as it is right here, we are done. Next thing we do is just pull down the contrast to negative 18 right here or 17. The highlights want to boost them up to plus 63. The shadows we want to pull down to negative 50 right there, 49, and the whites down to negative 37, and the blacks down to negative 58 right here. Then we're done with the light. We go over to color, boost up the temperature to plus 7, pull down the saturation down here to negative 20 five or 24 and then we scroll up hit the color mix on the right side and what you want to do for the red tones is just boost the hue a little bit to plus 11 then we're going to the orange tones here we're gonna boost the hue again to plus 15 in this case the saturation we want to boost up to plus 8 and the luminance all the way up to plus 65 right here to really brighten out those skin tones then we are done here. We go to grading on top. And what you want to do for the shadows here is pull to a hue of around 260, boost up the saturation to 24. And we're going to get that blue purple tone to the shadows. Then for the mid tones, hue up to 52, saturation to around 19 is perfect. And for the highlights, hue again to 52 and the saturation up a little further to around 29 and then we are done with the colors then we go over to effects on the right down here and what you want to do is just pull down the clarity to around negative 18 boost up the dehaze to plus seven right here and then of course the magic essence we want to boost up the grain all the way to 40 in this case 41 the size up as well to around 50 51 and the roughness all the way up to around 75 right here and now we see that grain in the picture and we are done and this is it guys once again here's a before and after and i think we came super close to that addison ray look once again we have to keep in mind that she's taking this picture probably with a film camera um, a professional photographer might be taking this one um, with a real film camera that's how it looks to me and we're only using our smartphone and the free lightroom app so i think it's really cool how close we can get i hope you guys who requested this video are happy with this result once again i've also created a preset on exactly this look if you're having troubles or if you want to save some time or if you already have this all presets pack on my website the link is under this video this edison ray look is now in the all presets pack along with over 200 presets that you can easily paste to every one of your pictures for everyone who doesn't already have the all presets pack i really recommend it because all of my future presets are going to automatically be updated into that pack so you just have to get it once 
and you'll get a growing presets pack which is a great deal make sure to check it out link is under this video of course subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell and if there's anything you need from me any questions ideas for new videos always feel free to dm me on instagram at steven Mumek is my handle and i'm always open for conversation and i'm really excited to hear from you guys now thank you once again so much for your love the support for watching this video and i hope i'll see you in the next one till then stay creative stay healthy peace